Hello everyone, and welcome to my Bachelor official YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. Breaking her silence, Gabriel Nikki explains why she won't be appearing on season 9 of Bachelor in Paradise. To learn every aspect, continue reading. A status update on her friendship with Katie Bigger is also provided. Gabriel Nikki describes her decision not to participate in Bachelor in Paradise. Fans were hoping to see Gabriel Nikki on season 9 of Bachelor in Paradise after she suffered a heartbreak at the hands of Zach Shellcross on The Bachelor. After all, Kylie Russell, Brooklyn Willie, Kat Carter, and other members of her season 27 cast were present on the beach. Still, El Nikki had no intention of visiting Mexico. In a recent Instagram Q&A, the runner-up from season 27 offered her thoughts on the choice. The Bachelor Nation alum said, I did not feel paradise would be a good environment for me given my ending on The Bachelor, in response to a question about why she isn't on season 9. In contrast to starting on BIP, she continued, It felt more important to protect my peace. El Nikki revealed an additional explanation. She began seeing someone with the intention of seeing where things went in the new partnership. Fans of Bachelor Nation would not be that shocked that she passed on Bachelor in Paradise since she has already flaunted her new partner. What is her position towards Katie Bigger? A friendship formed between Gabby El Nikki and Katie Bigger during season 27 of The Bachelor. Some fans questioned if El Nikki's close relationship with Zat Shalkras, who would eventually pop the question to Bigger, would be able to withstand their friendship. Fans continue to have questions, with one asking if the two are still close. El Nikki chose to respond in a light-hearted manner. She wrote, No, we just hang out sometimes, beside a video of Bigger drinking next to her. Gabby El Nikki teases her new partner. Gabriel Nikki has been keeping certain information about her boyfriend private, as we previously reported. However, she revealed some fresh information in her Instagram Q&A. She explained her decision to not be on BIP by writing on the Instagram slide, This is my man friend and personal photographer, Zach. El Nikki went on to say that they were acquainted by common acquaintances and first met more than three years ago but their connection didn't become passionate until recently. She revealed, he invited me to see a Chris Stapleton show in April or May, and we clicked. I'm overjoyed. Do you comprehend Gaby L. Nikki's justifications for skipping season 9 of BIP? Post your ideas in the comments section below. Alumni of Bachelor in Paradise Cat Carter is concentrating on her goal of becoming a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader rather than her romantic life. Cat Carter's horrible history in Bachelor Nation. During season 27 of The Bachelor, Cat Carter was first introduced to Bachelor Nation viewers. But in week two, she was sent home because Zach Shawcross didn't think much of her. On season nine of Bachelor in Paradise, she came back to find love once more. Sadly, she failed to connect there either, and in week one she was eliminated. Carter is changing course to pursue another ambition of being a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader after failing at love. Might she make a TV comeback soon? Earlier this week, Kat Carter informed her followers of the wonderful news on Instagram. She exclaimed, I'm coming back to IALS TV Scurrians, hopefully, in a recent post. She continued by saying that she is currently going through an audition procedure to join the Dallas Cowboys cheerleading team. Is a network bringing back Making the Team, a reality TV program? As of the time of publication, there is no evidence to suggest that the well-liked reality show is returning. In 2006, Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders, making the team made its CMT debut. It was abruptly canceled in 2022 after 16 seasons. 
Carter most likely intended for her return to television to occur, ideally during Dallas Cowboys games, which often air on Sunday night football and sports stations. How to track her ascent to the Dallas Cowboys cheerleading position. 26-year-old dancer Kat Carter works professionally. A series of brief videos showing Carter rehearsing her dancing routines were included in her Instagram post revealing the wonderful news. She stated that the audition process will last for an additional six months, although the film simply provides a brief overview of it. Her TikTok is the place to follow her entire audition process for a spot on the cheerleading squad. She has previously released multiple videos of herself getting ready for the auditions, starting on day one and ending on day 10. In addition to her dancing practice sessions, her dance beauty regimen is seen in the video below. Does Kat Carter Stroud for the Dallas Cowboys cheerleading team sound good to you? Does she possess the necessary skills to join the team? Post your ideas in the comments section below. Even though Kat Carter didn't find love on BIP, will the other contestants? ABC broadcasts brand new episodes of Bachelor in Paradise every Thursday at 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern. Thomas Jacobs and Becca Kufrin, the pair from Bachelor in Paradise, have declared their marital status. In response to a fan's inquiry on Instagram last week, Thomas started a rumor that they might have tied the knot. They confirmed it today. Thomas Jacobs and Becca Kufrin, the pair from Bachelor in Paradise, got married. Thomas Jacobs and Becca Kufrin, the pair from Bachelor in Paradise, got married. Thomas took to Instagram last week to respond to queries from followers. When he was going to wed Becca was one of the questions. In response, he said that it might have been a good day the day before. He and Becca announced their marriage in a joint post today. They informed every follower on Instagram of the news. They posted three pictures with a brief description. The caption said, Mr. and Mrs. 1013 slash 23. The pictures were flawless. Naturally, one of the three of them was holding their wedding rings. One of them was kissing the infant stroller in front of the other. In the last photo, they were carrying their marriage license while posing in front of the location of their wedding. On Friday, October 13, fans have been guessing that the couple were married based on a picture taken from a beachside hotel. Thomas then dropped the clue on Instagram. The rumors were accurate, it seems. Less than a month has passed since they welcomed their baby, Benson Lee Jacobs Cuffrin, before this news. Their pregnancy caused them to postpone their wedding, as fans were aware. Indeed, they had revealed on social media the previous week that it would have been their wedding day. As it happens, they made the decision to jump shortly afterward. Rushing to congratulate them were fans. Thomas Jacobs and Becca Kufrin received a flurry of congratulations from admirers and other Bachelor Nation members. Stop making me cry so much in one month, stated Abigail Herringer. Others remarked on Becca's amazing appearance following her recent delivery. Others still said that they were the cutest family ever. Another admirer exclaimed, I adore this. This is how marriages ought to be. Affirmations and celebrations of love and commitment made in private. Many fans of Bachelor in Paradise consider this couple to be their all-time favorites. They adore each other. It has been a busy month for them. How do you feel about Thomas and Becca getting hitched? On the basis of the clues and reports, did you believe they had? For more information on all of your favorite Bachelor Nation stars, stay tuned. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.